Hi everyone, this is Kalyan Kumar and welcome to Product Review. In this channel, I review various types of products including devices, softwares and web related services. I also showcase how to do videos, tips and strategies and explain in detail several tech related concepts. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to connect two iOS devices using Bluetooth. Now, the first thing that pops up in mind when you hear this is what's the big deal? I mean, how do you connect two Bluetooth devices? You switch on Bluetooth in both, let them discover each other. In one of them, you tap the name of the other device. It gives you a code. You type the code on the other device and you're good to go. They are tethered using Bluetooth. Well, not for iOS devices. As you know, Apple has always been following the mantra, less is more. What they actually mean by that is they sell less for more. Because just trying to connect two devices using Bluetooth should not have been that much of a pain. But with Apple devices, it is a pain. As it is, we know that Bluetooth in iOS devices is basically a sham. The only purpose for which you can use Bluetooth is for connecting your uh, earbuds, your Bluetooth earbuds, or you could even connect uh, Bluetooth headphones or Bluetooth speakers. But other than audio systems, Bluetooth in iOS devices is practically of no use. So that gives us the question, then why do we do it? Why do we want to connect Bluetooth of two iOS devices with each other? Well, first of all, one uh, important feature that needs to be there in one of the iOS devices at least for it to be tethered with Bluetooth to the other iOS device is the presence of cellular connection. If both devices have cellular connection, great. If one of them has, no problem, even then it can happen. But if none of them have cellular connection, you cannot connect each of them to each other using Bluetooth. It doesn't work that way. Therefore, it is very, very important that at least one of them has a cellular connection. Now, having said this, now comes the question, what is the purpose of connecting them using Bluetooth? Well, advantage is that let us say I have an iPhone and an iPad, which is what I'm going to show you in this video. And the iPad is Wi-Fi only. It doesn't have a cellular network. An iPhone definitely will have a cellular network. Now, what I can do is I can use the cellular data of my iPhone to browse the net on my iPad without having to go through Wi-Fi. One way of doing it is put the hotspot on in uh, your iPhone, put the Wi-Fi on in your iPad and connect to this hotspot and then you can browse the net. That's a very simple way. The other way you can do that is without switching on the Wi-Fi of the iPad, you can connect it to the Bluetooth of the iPhone and use the cellular data of your iPhone to browse the net on the iPad. So that is point number one. And the advantage of Bluetooth is that it is actually faster than Wi-Fi if the, if the devices are lying very close to each other. Relatively more secure, but the downside is that you cannot access them over greater distances. With Wi-Fi hotspot, you could have accessed your iPhone even if it was lying in another room. But with Bluetooth, you need to have them in the same room without any barrier between each other. So that's the downside. But another important issue regarding the Bluetooth tethering is there are certain apps which require you to use your iPhone as a remote for certain apps working on the iPad. For example, one of the apps that comes to my mind is a teleprompter app. Now, what a teleprompter is requires an entire video in itself. Basically, we can understand it as a device which is kept in front of the camera lens over which the text is scrolling and a person is reading the text and appears to look directly into the lens. This is how news readers read news. This is how heads of state address the nation. So iPad can be used as a teleprompter device. Now, those apps need controlling remotely because if the text is scrolling too fast, you want to make it a little slower. If it is moving too slow, you want to make it a little faster. You want to pause somewhere in between. So for that, what you need to do is you need the teleprompter app on your iPad and its remote application on your iPhone. And they have to be tethered using Bluetooth 
only then you will be able to control the app running on the iPad through the iPhone. So that's another advantage of using the Bluetooth. So let's go ahead and have a look at how to connect the two devices, two iOS devices, at least one of which has a cellular network connection using Bluetooth. So this is my iPad on one side. This is my iPhone on the other side. And uh, both have their settings uh, app available. So let me go to the settings of my iPad, then on my iPhone. So the Bluetooth is off. So let me switch on the Bluetooth of my iPad. And let me switch on the Bluetooth on my iPhone. And they're lying side by side. Let's hope they discord themselves. And uh, as you can see, my iPad is uh, discovering uh, my iMac, my MacBook Pro, my Cintiq and my daughter's laptop, but it is not discovering the iPhone and neither is the iPhone discovering the iPad. So it's not discovering any one of these. So the way to make this happen and if they don't even discover each other, there is no way you can make the connection. Any other normal two devices would be able to discover each other and would be able to pair. But again, not with Apple products. That's not going to happen. So what we do is, remember, as I said before, one of them has to have the uh, cellular connection. Both iOS devices, if both of them have, it's great. If one of them has, that's fine. But if both do not have, then this is not possible. You cannot tether them using Bluetooth. If one is an iPad Wi-Fi only and other is, is iPod touch or two iPod touch or two iPads without any cellular network in either of them, they cannot be connected via Bluetooth. So the reason is you need the personal hotspot. As you can see, <coughs> just be, below the mobile data, there's a personal hotspot. The personal hotspot option comes when there is a SIM card inserted in it and it is active. So I'm going to just go to the personal hotspot and I'm going to switch it on. Remember the Wi-Fi of my iPad is off, but now look at the Bluetooth. Can you see iPhone? Suddenly it is able to see my iPhone just because I switched on the personal hotspot, even though the personal hotspot is not being connected to the iPad because the iPad's Wi-Fi is anyway off. So now I go and just touch the iPhone name. It says pair request and it says that in both. In iPad I say pair, in iPhone I say pair and now they are connected. So let's go to the Bluetooth setting of my iPhone and you see the last one iPad connected. And you see in my iPad, iPhone is connected. So I've connected the iPad to my iPhone using Bluetooth. Remember the Wi-Fi of my iPad is off. And one of the advantages of this Bluetooth connection is that I can use the internet, the cellular connection of my iPhone on the iPad. So let's open up the web browser and I will be able to do it and don't uh, make any sense out of the, uh, the, the Wi-Fi logo that is appearing on my iPad because that appears even though the, uh, the Wi-Fi is off. I don't know why that happens, but it's happening. Now you can see it's opened up the site. Remember the Wi-Fi of my iPad is off. It's off. And yet I'm able to access the net and there is no cellular connection on my iPad. Yet it is able to use the connection of the cellular connection of my iPhone and using which I'm able to connect to the net. So that's the advantage of uh, this kind of a connection. And uh, so this is how you tether two iOS devices using Bluetooth if at least one of them has cellular network connection. So that was the way by which you can connect two iOS devices using Bluetooth. And remember, as I mentioned it many times, you need one of them to have a cellular connection at least. At least one of them should have a cellular network connection. 
and you saw how the bluetooth was able to join to each other the moment we opened up the hotspot the personal hotspot on the other though we did not connect the ipad to the iphone using wifi we were able to see how we browse the net on the ipad without having to tether using wifi but we tethered it using bluetooth so that is one of the uses the other uses as i mentioned in my introduction was the fact that you can use certain apps and remotely control them from your iphone for that you need bluetooth tethering so that is the end of this video and i hope you were able to understand how to do this job and perhaps you would find more uses of bluetooth tethering between ios devices i wish apple was able to give us more uh, uses of bluetooth at least one could transfer pictures i can understand that you cannot uh, transfer music using bluetooth because you don't want to violate the copyright and apple is pretty uh, stringent about that but what about images what about videos i shoot a picture i want to transfer it to a person having android what's wrong with that but no the apple ecosystem is so closed that only ios devices can communicate and that too using wifi hotspot they don't even allow you to transfer picture from one ios device to the other simply by using bluetooth without switching on the wifi of either of them so that is a problem and in fact even discovering the bluetooth requires you to put on a hotspot i don't know why we go to all that trouble of creating a device like that but then and uh, in the interest of full disclosure let me also tell you that i may be criticizing apple and its devices but i am an apple fan i have been using all of their devices in fact the only thing that i don't have is the latest mac pro uh, uh, in fact i mac pro and uh, the latest generation of apple tv that's all i don't have i have almost everything else of apple so i'm an apple fan but then being a fan doesn't make you blind you have to be realistic about certain things which android can do which apple devices cannot do i can send pictures from my android uh, tablet to my laptop pc whereas i cannot do that with my iphone so there are certain hurdles which i'm sure uh, apple would never take care of because that's the way they are built they are built into a very close ecosystem uh, less is more and i we certainly get lot less than others so having said that uh, this is the end of this video if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so uh, please do consider subscribing i put lots and lots of tech related videos and uh, the advantage of uh, subscription is the moment i upload a video you get a notification and there is a separate panel on your youtube channel which will list all your subscribed channels and you can re reach any of the subscribed channels without having to search for them and if you like the video please do hit the thumbs up button this is kalyan kumar signing off have a great day goodbye and thank you for watching